Hi, welcome to another unboxing video with Melissa. Today we're unboxing my first book. Um, I've gotten a crate of 50 books to unbox today, and this is my first novel. Um, the ebook came out a couple weeks ago, but and so did the um, paperback, but I've been waiting for a load to actually send off to people that pre-ordered it on my Kickstarter, as well as to take it in some bookstores and stuff in the city. So I'll just show you what the box looks like. It's absolutely heaving with books. There are um, there's 50 in all. So, um, and I also wanted to show you what the book like looked like initially and why I've become a little bit behind on this because the book was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago paperback would have came out at the same time as the um the ebook but this happened as you can see my main character Madison on the front is just a little bit sunburned um it didn't show up on the digital proof when I looked at it in create space it looked normal but when she came her face was very, very red, like she was very embarrassed, and I think what's happened is her hair has bled through to her skin. So, called the, um, got a hold of Crate Space, got this fixed. So, the book now looks like this, which is what it's supposed to look like. Um, she's got a little paler than I would have hoped she would have been, but other than that, I'm very happy with it. So this is the cover, and it's a matte finish. Um, you can just see the spine there as well. So it's got Becoming Death, Melissa Brown. And it's got a little sigh at the bottom that my friend Devin made for me. And I've given her credit as an illustrator on the page for doing those for me. And they've got one on every chapter. So it's on all the chapter headings. So as you can see, chapter 7. Go on there. And I have another chapter. Chapter 17. My lucky number. There. Okay. And um, the back. Also looks really good. They've all tied in, so it's a really professionally made cover. Um, so we've got a little quote at the top. It says, if you're going to negotiate with death, at least take your sister. And this quote from Madison's mom in the book. Um, when they're trying to find a way for Madison to save someone at the end of the book. I won't give away who. Um, and we've got the, the blurb here. So we've got, ever since her father's demise, Madison Clark knew death had her number. After losing her first job, she sustered it into the cryptic family business. Little does the teenager know her family is hiding a dark secret. They are grim reapers, custodians of souls on their journey to the beyond. Even years of studying comics doesn't prepare Madison for the reality of having a so-called superpower, the ability to kill with just a touch. Madison expects her historic legacy to have benefits beyond immortality, but what she doesn't expect is still be struggling for cash while reaping souls on the side. As uh, so if being Desminion wasn't strenuous enough, Madison finds herself back at school with her worst enemy, studying the ancient rules, methods, and paperwork of her vocation. In a cascade of life changes, her best friend admits he's in love with her. She starts a new job as a professional mourner, but she can't help thinking her family might have other secrets. Just when things are finally starting to feel normal again, death throws her a curveball. Her next victim is someone close to her. Madison must find a way to, to overcome the strict guidelines of being a Grim Reaper in order to save their life. So we won't spoil you. A little bio about me here um, as well. Um, I won't read that out to you though. My social media links at the bottom as well. So trying to build up my followers on my Twitter, um, my newsletter on my website and also my email address for this. So I'm very happy with how the book looks. It feels quite soft as well. Um, to show you the inside. Show you this really does look like a traditionally published book. I work in a library. Um, I come across books all the time and I'm, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. So I've actually dedicated it to my grandmother, um, Lisa Nichols, who died a few years back. But she actually died the year I was writing this, so I thought it would be good to actually um, dedicate it to her because she did help me a lot with spelling and writing and read to me a lot when I was a child. So I thought it was a good thing to dedicate this book to her. And let's see what else. Let me show you. And of course in the back, I've got a bit about my Kickstarter backers, the people that backed me with money um, for this project that actually got it published and um, did all the hard work for me. So there's 51 of them, so thank you to them for helping me do this. Um, and I've also got a free little article available if you go to my website to sign up. So yeah, that is my first book, and I'm really excited about it. 
um, over the next few days. I'm going to have to post all these out to my Kickstarter backers because there's about 30 to be posted. Um, I've also got to send one to the British Library apparently and um, and take one in to um, one of the libraries I work at. I've already taken one in there and I'm going to send one to my home library as well. There's lots to go out. Um, a couple bookstores have asked for some copies so they'll go to them as well. So lots of organizing in the next few days. But it's a very exciting time. I can't believe I finished it. It took me years. I wrote it in 2010 and it's only just now finished. Um, so yeah, it's a great feeling and I hope some of you will be interested in the book. Um, it is quite a light tone, a bit of a dark comedy, so it's not overly gory. It might be about death, but it tries to be have fun in places. And Madison is pretty much a fangirl. Um, so if you like that kind of book, you'll like this one. So that's Becoming Death by Melissa Brown. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Um, look up my book on Amazon where it's available worldwide. And thanks for watching. See you next time.